Hello, here I am again, August 6, 2024, trying to catch up. Man, rather than go live, I'm just going to quickly do a recording or two. I know a lot of people are trying to get on schedule and get their kiddos back to school tomorrow. At least they are here. And I know Alabama is too. Um, at least some parts are. So y'all try to get some good sleep and you can catch a replay and I appreciate you either way. I appreciate you either way. Just hit that thumbs up and uh, we'll talk about Sebastian here for a minute. And I wanted to remind you all just to keep the awareness going for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, who's still missing from Hendersonville, Tennessee. I sure hope he's found and something in this case breaks soon. I was just wondering, um, while I was sitting out there earlier, looking at my green light on my porch, as always, I'm either thinking about him or Summer, but I've been really having Sebastian on my mind lately. And uh, I was just wondering if everyone saw the uh, Silver on the Scene video from last night. And what was your thoughts? I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Last night when I was on my live, someone came in and told me about it. And I thought it was him that spotted and called out Sebastian's name. But that was incorrect, so I want to correct that. Because, again, I was on my live. Um, so, I want you to hear some of his video or most of his video with me but i want you to go to his channel silver on the scene and i want you to go listen to his entire video he's got a bunch of good things over there in my opinion and um he can explain it much much better but basically this is actually where he got a tip from someone who was allegedly in Cleveland, Tennessee, Walmart, not long after Sebastian went missing. And they told Silver that they did not know anything about at that time that Sebastian was missing. This is my understanding that... Um, they were in this Walmart. They were doing a little shopping. And he actually gives the address of this Walmart. Silver actually goes to this Walmart. He travels all around. Again, this is in um, Cleveland, Tennessee. But the guy told him, he said he was shopping. And a boy came up to him. And he said something to him. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, it's a good day for shopping or something to that nature. Anyway, whatever he said to him, we'll hear it in just a minute. Um, he was with a group of people. And they were at the... Ooh, they were at the other end of the store, right? Or the out. And the guy figure, the man, the father figure, whoever, um, yelled out, Sebastian. And when he did, the boy looked up and went back down there. Now, I guess at this time... There was a young girl there as well in the group, and she kind of whispered something in that boy's ear. So, again, at that time, that man yells out, Proudfoot! You know, sometimes I guess if you're kind of mm, in trouble or something, You'll call somebody out by their last name. 
maybe even their first and middle name. But my understanding is they said Proudfoot. You know, that's what you kind of do when you get attention. Again, this person, it caught their attention, but they didn't know the name. They didn't recognize the name or anything like that. They didn't know Sebastian Rogers or any of the Proudfoot names or anything like that. And at that time, his picture was not up on the bulletin board. Not that anybody's going to stop and look anyway. So they kept doing what they were doing. So Silver goes there and he tried to get the video. He asked the, uh, the manager or whatever at the store, hey, can I get this video? Which I applaud him. I applaud this man. I haven't been watching him long, but uh, what I've seen, I, I, I really like, I, I like him so far. Um, but he goes there and he asked to get the video and he couldn't. I think Walmart told him that Ellie has to be the ones to do that, if I'm not wrong, and I could be. But they were called, and he said that they called him while he was in the car. You'll have to see the video, but, you know, we're going to play some of that. Anyway, um, I did look it up because, you know, um, there was something that we lost. There was an ordeal in Walmart where we lost something, or my son did one time, and um, it was a long story, but we won't get into that. I could have swore they told me that after seven to ten days they tape over the the video, but that could just be in different stores of Walmart, different areas. All Walmarts might not be the same, or I could have simply just forgot. So, I got to looking, and I did look up, and um, it said some Walmart stores will keep, without going over or deleting, video 30 to 90 days just for this fact right here in case it's needed for something like this. So, I pray that just to be on the safe side that they do have this and can get it because I say leave no stone unturned. No matter what we think, what any of our opinions are, y'all already know what mine are. That's just my opinion. My opinion don't mean a hill of beans. We already have thoughts and opinions that are ours because that's just the way it is. Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody can have one. It don't make them fact. But I say, look at everything. Don't leave any stone unturned. But I was just curious if you saw Silver's on the scene. Go over, check him out, see what you think. Now let's listen to this. This was played, this video was last night or 22 hours ago. Let's see kind of what he's saying. In Cleveland, Tennessee, 18,302 children who have been put up on the Walmart boards have been recovered since January 1996. And that's amazing. Okay, that's amazing. And we want Sebastian to be one of those as well. So. What was I doing in that Cleveland Walmart? As you can see, Sebastian is not on their board at this time. Cleveland, Tennessee Walmart is well aware of Sebastian now. So let me play this video for you. It'll give you a ton of information 
and then we'll come back and discuss. Here we go. Summer's on the sea. Where am I? I'm in Cleveland, Tennessee. That's right, Cleveland, Tennessee, standing here at the Walmart. All right, let's take a look. I just want to tell y'all this. My camera is off. You see no picture right now. I know this. It's because of where I'm at in my house right now. And um, so I know this. We're just listening to his voice right now. And if you want to see the actual video, you'll have to go see it. We're hearing him. He's at Cleveland, Tennessee, Walmart. Just listen, please. Thank you. Walmart, Cleveland, Tennessee. What am I doing here at the Walmart in Cleveland, Tennessee? Well, hopefully, hopefully, I'm doing something really good. A tip came in, and I'm going to take a look at it. So, I'm going inside. I'm going to ask a few questions and see what kind of answers we can hopefully get. Stay tuned. More to come. Sewers on the scene, I'm back. As you saw earlier, take a look. I'm at the Walmart. That's right, the Walmart in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay? And I went in just now and I had a few questions. Let me tell you what's going on and we'll go from there. So, uh, Silver's on the scene at yahoo.com. I've had tips coming in uh, and leads, places to mainly look for Sebastian, uh, that he might be out there, you know, as we think maybe possibly not with us anymore and places to search. But I did have a tip come in for this Walmart here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay, the tip is this. There was a guy who was doing his normal grocery shopping. He was in the grocery department. And as he's standing there looking for different things, he had noticed a group of teenagers. He had noticed a group of teenagers, boys and girls, with two adults. He said they look, it looked odd, that the group looked odd, but you know, he, that's all he noticed. And he had walked away from them going, doing his shopping. And when he was 20 or so aisles down, a pretty good ways down, just looking at food to, to purchase, uh, he was approached by one of those teenagers. And it was a teenage boy. Uh, the boy said to him, basically, hey, it's a nice day to be shopping. And he replied with, yes, it's a great day to be shopping. And before they could say anything else, the adult male with the group, who was several aisles back from where this kid had come from, yells out, Sebastian. Which at this time, the kid looks up, looks this guy right in the eyes turns abruptly to go back to the group and as he walks away this guy reported this tip is saying he says Seth under his breath now at the time this was back in April about 103 days ago it's a long time ago at okay so that's the part um, so that's the part that I did not understand I didn't understand why he said Seth, but I just didn't, I didn't understand that. So maybe I'm just missing it and that's going over my head. But, um, this was back in April. So I wanted you to know, um, this guy in the store had no idea. Now, some people have speculated and thought that maybe Sebastian was in possibly, you know, a, um, like a autism home or a boot camp or, or some kind of sort of thing. Um, or somewhere until this all blew over with the, um, case with faith, um, until that goes away because once that goes away they're thinking maybe Sebastian will just pop up and then he can't testify or be asked any questions and 
once that's over and custody's decided, then it's over. So, I don't know. Hold on just a minute. At the time, stating the guy giving the tip who emailed me says he did not know Sebastian was missing. He thought the whole encounter was odd. He thought the group was odd, but that was it. Several weeks after this encounter, he sees on the news, YouTube, wherever he sees that this kid Sebastian Rogers is missing. And of course he goes, wow, that is the kid who approached me in the Walmart. Um, one thing he also said that I left out is when the kid got back to the group, one of the girls in the group, teenage girls, had a, you know kind of put her arm up to him and was whispering something in his ear. And at about that time, the male, the adult male with the group, stomps his foot and yells loud, proud foot. Now, I'm just telling you what's reported to me. No judgment here, no saying this is ridiculous. As we've talked about, everything needs to be checked out. So. Silver's on the scene, on my way to Knoxville now, make, then gonna make my way over to the Nashville area, as everyone knows, you've seen in the videos. So I came here, coming right through Cleveland. I contacted the guy again. There's two Walmarts in the town. He told me which one he was at. He gave me more details. He's even willing to come to the store and do a reenactment. So what did I do here? I've never done anything like this before. But you never get anything unless you don't unless you ask for it. You never ask, you never get. So I went into the store. I got the store manager. He then got the loss prevention or security manager. The three of us had a discussion. Of course, my goal was to see the footage myself. More to come. Okay, so I'm back. So I had to take the phone call that was coming in. That was actually the the police officer law enforcement call in so what happened was and i don't know where i was exactly on the story but i met with the store manager as well as loss prevention i believe manager security manager and of course they won't let me see anything but um they told me to contact law enforcement which i just did i did before i started the video and while i was doing this video they it, he actually called me so there's been immediate response i would say from me making contact and speaking to someone at the police department in the city of Cleveland to get in the call was less than five minutes. So I took the full thing down. I've also given the name of the person who made the, um, who gave the tip, who actually saw what he believes to be Sebastian. And, you know, they have my information. They can call me and I'll let you know more to come uh, if I get any updates. But, you know, Here's the thing. I know me especially, you know, I just feel like Sebastian's probably more than likely no longer with us, but if this is him, if he was seen and it really is him, that changes everything and it, and it changed it for the positive because we want him alive and we want him to get back home to his father. So um, that's the update. More will come as I learn more, but uh, yeah. Silver's on the scene from Cleveland, Tennessee at the Walmart. Okay, what do you think about that? That was a lot, huh? So, what has happened? You, you heard on the video, you saw me talking. So, I get this tilt for this Walmart. The police were notified by me. We made a report and hopefully this will go somewhere and they'll take a look at the video footage and we can, if it's Sebastian, find him. If it's not, rule this out. Um, I wanted to also take a moment to talk about how quickly these things happen. As, I, as you see in the video, it's about a five minute period from my from me hanging up the phone with the police department to the officer calling me in about five minutes okay so y'all there's there is i mean that's just only half the video there's still about um i i don't even know uh 
20 more minutes on there. So, y'all go over there and watch that. That Silver's on the scene. And it's very important, again, that if this is something that at least a follow-up tip is done, even if it's nothing. But if it's something that, you know, somebody is there keeping their eye out. Because if they took him there once and it's him, it's a very good possibility that they'll take him there again. So, you know, the hope is that he is alive and the hope is that he is safe somewhere and the hope is that he does come home. You know, because no matter what anybody else is doing and whether, you know, um, his parents know where he's at or not, the world is still looking for him and the world is not going to give up. Because either way, he deserves to be found. And somebody knows. Thank you.